I've been meaning to ask you this for such a long time, man. But where'd you get that sick sweatshirt? Wait, strivesmartstore.com? It's live right now? Everybody put your hands in the air. It's live right now? Oh my God. Yes, you heard it right. From the man himself, strivesmartstore.com is finally live, guys. Link down below in the description as well as in the comment section. And just quickly before we get into the video, if you buy anything, just know I really appreciate you for directly supporting me, directly supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me, guys. And uh, just, just thank you so much. I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just really excited for this launch. The store, I put a lot of work in to it guys let me know what you think about it and um yeah without wasting any more time let's get right into the video what's up everybody it's stas here and in this video i wanted to show you all my m1 finance portfolio and give you all an update on what's been going on in this portfolio since the previous update which was about two three weeks ago at this point have i been buying stocks selling stocks dividends how much money have i made on each position we're going to go through everything in this video so if you you enjoy the video feel free to go down below hit that like button consider subscribing if you do want to see further content for me and if you want to be further connected with the strive smart community there are two links down below one of them being the strive smart discord group chat and the other one being the strive smart facebook group make sure to get in there again if you want to be further connected with our community so right off the bat here guys you can see the portfolio is worth 764 dollars and 32 cents well actually that's the money that I have invested as you guys can see I have a very tiny amount of cash right here of about seven dollars and 79 cents so overall the portfolio right now is roughly worth around seven hundred and seventy dollars and since the inception of the portfolio which was on July 2nd 2019 here this was about three three four months ago at this point we've gained thirty two dollars and seventy cents which is a return of 11.41%. And this is actually pretty crazy, guys, because the last update video that I made, which again was about two, three weeks ago, the gain on the portfolio was only 3%. So in the past two weeks, two, three weeks, this portfolio has gained nearly 8%, which goes to show that this market has been flying over the past couple of weeks, as most of you guys already know at this point, because the S&P has been hitting all-time high after all time high and honestly some of the individual plays uh, the individual stocks that I hold in this portfolio have been crushing it as well in terms of earnings and uh, just price appreciation in general right so let's break it down a bit further here the return in the past week I don't know if you guys care about this but five bucks nearly one percent and again the past month which is where a lot of the return has come has been 6.15 percent a gain of about thirty three dollars and eighty eight cents and oh my god before I forget, let me show you all how much has been from dividends because this portfolio is comprised of a lot of dividend paying stocks, but I've also added a lot of growth stocks to the portfolio, three actually since this previous update video that I made, which was my goal with this portfolio um, when I first started it, right? I was looking to have a lot of dividend stocks and then slowly add some growth stocks as their valuations got to a, an area where I'd feel comfortable at least scaling in and uh, holding for the long term, obviously, right? So $29 market gains, um, dividends about $3.37. And now let's just get to the meat and potatoes of what I am holding right here. What are my holdings? The first one being Johnson & Johnson with a target of about 15% of my portfolio and uh, an actual of around 15.7% of my portfolio. So this one's a bit overweight, not drastic overweight 0.7 percent is nothing crazy but a bit overweight here right and if we click Johnson and Johnson to see some specifics about my position average share price 130 bucks here markets uh, price right now is at, at about 131 dollars and 20 cents so I'm down a little bit in terms of that but this is mostly a dividend play guys honestly I'm looking to hold this one very very long term and have it be a stable portion of my portfolio 
because, you know, Johnson & Johnson, it's a dividend king. It pays dividends through recessions. You know, this is really a, a, a comfortable holding for me here as we're headed towards the end of this economic cycle, right? So I plan on adding more to this. If we dip our toes back into the 120s as that PE gets a bit lower, maybe down to about like a, a 19, 20 PE, I might add some more money there. But as of now, I'm simply just holding this one um, and uh, view it as a hold. Maybe I'll buy in some more. And of course, I'll let you guys know when I do that. The second holding here is Altria. And this one we've been doing quite well on. The gain... All term, uh, all time here is about seven percent, four dollars nearly. Most of that coming from market gains, and about one dollar coming from dividends. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know Altria has been getting crushed as Jewel, and a lot of these e-cigarettes have been, you know, honestly being crushed out there in terms of the media with a lot of negative news surrounding these um, companies and these products, right? And since Altria owns really the the, the biggest brand name in, in my personal opinion in terms of e-cigarettes, obviously this has been dragging down the stock due to the negativity surrounding that product and the whole entire space, right? So I've been buying into Altria over the past couple of months. Right now, um, my average is about $43.84, have about 2.28 shares. And by the way, yes, you can have partial shares here on M1 Finance, which is why I love the platform. And uh, this is really a dividend play as well. 7.5% dividend here. I plan on reinvesting those dividends and holding this one long term, especially since the PE ratio is super low right now at about a 12. So if we go back to the portfolio, the next holding here, guys, is Facebook, which is one of those new tech stocks that I've added to my portfolio. And I honestly own Facebook in my other private accounts that I have in the stock market. And uh, really, I wanted to add it to this portfolio as well. I've been wanting to add it to this portfolio. And overall, up about 4% on this position, got in at about $186.53. This is not a dividend play, but it's a growth play, digital advertising, all of that good stuff. I think Facebook, guys, the phenomenal balance sheet is going to be here and growing for the next 5, 10 plus years at least. That's my personal opinion here. So Facebook own that third largest holding in this portfolio. AbbVie, guys, we've been crushing it on AbbVie. This is probably the, actually, it's not the best. It's the second best um, stock, performing stock in terms of percentage here. You guys can see up 14.3% since I bought it, which is insane. Up $8 here, um, $7 being market gains, nearly $0.60 cents being dividends. And we can see I bought in $73.95, and right now the stock is priced at $81.75. And again, this stock has just been going like crazy to the upside. It's just been, it's just been crushing it, guys. And this is another one of those dividend plays, dividend years at about 5.7 right now. When I bought in, I believe the dividend was uh, north of 6%. So I'm viewing this as a dividend reinvestment play, a long-term hold to eventually live off of that cash flow. That is the goal there with Abby. Another one, which is 3M. I'm holding this one. And honestly, guys, I want to make this a smaller portion of my portfolio. As you guys saw, it's about a 5% target weight of the portfolio. But now, now it's a bit overweight, so I'm honestly not going to be buying more 3M here. I'm probably just going to hold it, ride it out, you know, reinvest those dividends. But in terms of buying more with fresh cash, I'm just going to hold off on that as of right now because 3M, a lot of these industrial-based companies, you know, they get affected heavily when the trade war um, gets sour. And at this point, there's optimism surrounding the trade war, which is why 3M has been increasing in price recently. But if if it gets rocky again, guys, I do expect 3M to get crushed. So I'm waiting to see if that happens. And if it does, maybe I'll add more money there. But as of now, I'm just simply holding it and uh, really just waiting for any big changes in the foreseeable future. Average price at about 166 bucks with, with a nice dividend, growing dividend here at about 3.4%. So I'm liking that one. The next holding, which is another new holding, is PayPal Holdings. Holdings here, guys. Up 5.3% on this one, up about $3. Average share price at about $100.23. And you guys can see the market value right now 
is nearly 105 bucks. And this is one of those growth plays similar to Facebook, right? Ended up buying into this one. I really see potential in this one moving forward, especially as they got a license agreement. They bought some of a Chinese payment service and they're actually doing business in China. They're getting ready to do business in China, which is another huge market that if PayPal dominates there, you know, this is going to bring a lot of more revenue, a lot more revenue and uh, profit to the business. So PayPal, I love this one long term. The next one you guys see here is AT&T killing it on AT&T up 20% on this one up $7 um, six bucks market gains nearly $1 in earned dividends this is obviously a dividend play about 5.2% being paid out in dividends with an average share price here of about $35.02 so AT&T since we're up so much on this one at this point right let's see what the weighting is we're really on target at about 8% of the portfolio I'm viewing this one as a hold. If it gets overweight, I might trim off some profits here, then add it to an underweight uh, uh, position. Maybe like Facebook, add some into Facebook, trimming profits from AT&T. That's a possibility here that I'm looking at. The next position here is Amazon. I bought this one I believe it was the day after they reported earnings. The stock dumped very, very heavily. You can see I'm in an average share price right now at about $1,700, up $14, uh, or that's actually the stock's price. It was up $14 on Friday, but right now it's valued at $1,791.44. Total gain of about $2 here, uh, return of about 4%. And do I need to explain Amazon, guys? Honestly, you all know Amazon at this point. This is one of the best companies out there and I just want to have my hands in it even though some may argue this is not the best time to get into Amazon I'm okay with buying a little bit here because I know if it drops even further in the future which I'm sure it might I'm going to add more and honestly I'm viewing this as just dollar cost averaging very very slowly and looking to hold a growth beast over the next couple of years five ten years at least and uh, that's the goal and I'm sure I'll come out on top here with how awesome of a company Amazon is. So wrapping up the video here, guys, with the last three, SPHD, this is a monthly dividend ETF I own, up about 2.75% right now, up about $1.37, 18 of those being earned dividends, 18 cents there. And again, this is a monthly play. I actually think I got their dividend a couple of days ago. Um, expense ratio, about 0.3%. It's actually a higher dividend yield of about 4.1%. So yeah, I'm looking to reinvest these dividends and uh, really just focus on, you know, doing that and living off of the cash flow when I do need that cash flow in this portfolio in decades uh, to come here, right? So SPHD, the next one's Alibaba at about 5% of the portfolio, up about 3% on this one right now. Average price at about 173. The market values it at 176 bucks. So I'm up a little bit on Alibaba, nothing crazy. This is really just a Chinese play. Play. Um, I believe Alibaba is the best company out of China to own. So I figured why not throw 5% into it. I believe in the prospects. I own it in my private accounts as well. So I want some exposure there to Alibaba. And the last one here, about 5% of my portfolio is in the Vanguard FTSC developed markets ETF up about 4.3% on this one, up about $1 on this position. And this is an ETF that accounts for development markets outside of the United States. So I'm getting exposure to a lot of companies, a lot of developed markets that really don't include the United States because I have a lot of U.S. companies already, so I kind of want some money, some revenues, some profits from other areas of the world, right? And this dividend or this this uh, ETF pays a dividend of about 1.9%. Average share price right now at about 41.79. As you guys can see, again, I'm up on the position. So yeah, I'm just looking to add, uh, add more to this one slowly and uh, just hold it long term again to get that exposure from these developed 
developed market. So overall, guys, that's what the portfolio is looking like. If we go to the activities tab, you can see, you know, I've been adding some money into it. 65 bucks this day I bought, um, 50 bucks on this day I bought. You can see some of the dividends here from AT&T and SPHD. And like I've mentioned um, in, in previous videos, I'm looking to get this portfolio up to a couple thousand bucks here over the next couple of months. I'm not growing it as quick as I'm growing my private accounts, but I am focusing on growing it so you guys can get value and see what I do in terms of building a portfolio from scratch. And one last thing before we do end off the video here, guys, I don't think I'm going to add any new stocks or ETFs to this portfolio in the foreseeable future because I don't want to get too diversified, right? I'm already holding eight, nine, 10 holdings in this portfolio, and there's not an insane amount of money in it, 764 bucks, right? That's not an insane amount of money. So I'm looking at this point to really build onto the positions that I already have before potentially adding any new positions in terms of stocks and ETFs in the future, right? Sure, if we get a ridiculous dip in the markets, I might add some more stocks to the portfolio. But again, as of now, now that I have all the core positions, the foundation laid down, I'm looking to build on top of that foundation and kind of just add more money into the already existing stocks and ETFs in the portfolio. So I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to go down below, hit that like button, consider subscribing if you do want to see further content for me. And don't forget to join the Strive Smart Discord group chat and the Strive Smart Facebook group. And if you guys buy anything from the Strive Smart store.com, which again is linked down below and is live right now, I really do appreciate you all. It directly supports me and it directly supports the channel. And I just want to let you know thank you, thank you, thank you. You are awesome for all the support. And uh, just thanks, guys, from the bottom of my heart. You are the best. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. As always, peace out.